The United States is growing in every field, and their speed can even beat the flash. AI, laser technology, and many more amazing technologies have been added to the US arsenal, but today, we'll talk about the most expensive army vehicle. And let me tell you that even China is scared of this. Stick to the end to know the details about this most expensive weapon. A country's military is a valuable resource. The military defends the nation from its enemies and upholds domestic and international laws. It is believed that maintaining the nation's institutions, as well as the security of its residents, is a responsibility of the government. It costs a lot of money to establish and sustain national security, which is essential. Military duty is mandated in several countries. Of all countries, the United States spends the most on its armed forces. All of the Department of Defense's normal activities, war expenditures, the nuclear weapons program, overseas military assistance, and other Pentagon-related expenditures are included in its military spending. And the most modern aircraft carrier in the US Navy is the most expensive of its kind. Just look at this giant. Just feel how formidable it is. And I'm sure that when you get to know more about it, you're gonna be mesmerized. The USS Gerald R. Ford departed on its first deployment after years of delays and expensive setbacks that totaled a $13 billion price tag, entering the crowded field of Navy ships from nations like Russia and China. The newest and most technologically advanced aircraft carrier in the US Navy departed for its first deployment on Tuesday from Norfolk, Virginia. The development's goal was to test the ship's capabilities and conduct exercises with allies in North America and Europe. According to the US Navy, the USS Gerald Ford is the first brand new aircraft carrier to be developed in almost 40 years. The carrier's construction officially began in November 2009. The vessel is the first aircraft carrier of the Ford class. The USS Kennedy and USS Enterprise, the following two Ford class carriers, are its successors. Dual band radar, a more sophisticated radar system, is also installed on the ship. According to the officials, it'll be the only forward class carrier with this kind of radar. According to the US Navy official, the USS Gerald Ford and the Carrier Strike Group will conduct operations alongside allies and partners in the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, which are the second and the sixth fleet's respective areas of responsibility. The official noted that the deployment will be shorter than the typical six-month deployment. According to the Navy, the aircraft carrier uses the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and boasts new, cutting-edge technology, including almost three times the amount of electrical power compared to the Nimitz-class carriers. The aircraft are launched off the ship using electric power instead of the old steam catapult mechanism under the EMALS system. According to a Navy spokesman, the technology will shorten the time between launches and reduce the strain placed on the aircraft as they are launched from the carrier. According to a US Navy announcement, the deployment will involve about 9,000 personnel from 9 nations, 20 ships and 60 aircraft. The US, Canada, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, the Netherlands, Spain and Sweden are among the countries taking part in the recently announced exercise, according to the press release, and Gerald will show its prowess. Beyond the Navy's Nimitz-class carriers, this is not just the largest aircraft carrier ever to enter the ocean, but also one of the most technologically advanced. According to the Washington Post journalists Bob Woodward and Robert Koster's book Peril, Trump was frequently fascinated with the carrier and frequently vented about the ship's expensive cost and the location of the flight control center on the flight deck. The legend will be accompanied by ground, sea and air forces from NATO allies and partner countries on its first operational deployment. Norfolk, Virginia will serve as the launch point for the strike group while it operates in the Atlantic Ocean. The main focuses of the deployment are innovation and interoperability, enabling allies and partners to improve the Atlantic's collective defense while also maturing integration for future missions. The $13 billion ship in the new Ford class of aircraft carriers is currently in the final stage of maintenance before her first deployment and will soon be available for Navy tasking after encountering a number of delays and working out dependability issues with numerous new technologies. It's obvious that the adversaries of the United States should be scared of this expensive giant and according to a report, China is very, very concerned about this one. So what do you think about this one? Feel free to express your thoughts down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.